Imagine waking up with a parasite in your brain. From the moment I opened my eyes to the time I fell asleep, this parasite would scream and cause headaches. You'd get home from school, and your mom asks you how your day was. Would you be present during this conversation with this demon sheltering in your mind? How would your mental health be with this monster eating you away? You and I were not so different because it's eating away at you right now. It's the summer of 2020. Today is the day for me to rank up on Minecraft Bed Wars. Oh yeah, and it's kind of loud outside because friends and family are gathered for my birthday. Stomp, stomp, stomp. My siblings come up the stairs to call me. Aaron, Aaron, come downstairs. It's time to eat your birthday cake. This time, the steps sound different. It's my mom calling me to go downstairs. And she's trying to be nice because it's my birthday. I make up some excuse. Oh, just one more game. I finish in like two seconds. She comes up for the second time, for the third time, and now she's not happy. She physically drags me out of the chair, drags me down the stairs, and brings me to the birthday cake. Think about that. I'm a 10 year old, it's my birthday, it's time to eat the birthday cake. And I'm physically resisting that to go play Minecraft. Miserably, I quit mid game. And my gamers out there know how it feels to quit mid game. I wasn't present, I didn't enjoy anything. Imagine that was you. You're a 10 year old, it's your birthday. So many people are gathered to see you. And what are you thinking about? Minecraft. You don't even care about them at all. Because of that, I had such poor mental health and no appreciation at all. There's a disgusting secret in the video game industry that no one will tell you about. Now to quit video games, we have to understand it first. So you cannot skip this part. They profit off of your AdSense. Of course, the video game companies create video games that take millions of dollars to design. They gotta make some money back. How are you gonna pay them millions of dollars? You're not. So they make money off of your time, half a cent per hour. We all know time equals value, right? Yes, time equals money, time is so important, but how much self-respect do you really have when you're playing video games addictively? Because when we play video games, our brain's not even thinking. We're absolutely numb to the outside world, and that's what they're made for, an escape from our lives. To solve the problem, we can't just treat the effect. We have to treat the cause, obviously. So how did we get here? Most of us started at a young age, including me. Nobody told us that it was gonna be bad for our mental health. Nobody told us that it will. Warning, this video game is bad for your mental health. This video game will damage relationships with friends and family and will leave you in a terrible rut. It's a business, they don't care about you. It's all about money, but still. Even though it wasn't our faults that we got hooked onto this, as men on self-improvement, we have to take 100% accountability. We can't go back in time and fix that. We can't whine and cry about, oh, they did something, they did something so bad to me, I have to get back at them. No, accept your current situation and it's time to take action. I'd go to school every day, see the same people over and over again. It seemed that I was friends with everybody, yet nobody was friends with me. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to that. Whenever there were a school project, we had teams. I'd ask somebody if they want to be my teammate. Hey, you want to team up for this project? Nope. You would see your friends and, and the teachers talking about, oh, guys, we're going to have this project. And you guys make sure teams of three. And then they're looking at each other and they're nodding. And I'm looking to see if anybody's looking at me. But no. I felt like I had absolutely no friends. And the word brotherhood meant nothing to me, even though I had a brother living with me in my house. So what did I resort to? Discord. Depends on what games you're playing, but most games, you it's boring, it's absolutely terrible if you play alone. Since I had no friends to do that with, I'd go on Google, search up the 
game name and the Discord to have a public Discord server, and I'd meet other 12, 13, 14 year olds just like me. And we spend hours on top of hours on that game. I was purposeless. And I guarantee to you, if you spend hours a day on video games, you can't find your purpose. The worst things about video games though is the grind. We all have natural desires, status, brotherhood, money, and video games replicate that, but make it so much easier. They just cut the process. But one day I realized that the only time I'd actually have fun was by delaying gratification. This will shock you. Nobody else will tell you this. Just understanding this made me quit my addiction. Video games aren't the problem. They're not an illness. They're a symptom of a disease like the parasite we mentioned earlier. They're a symptom of poor mental health. They don't care about you. It's all a business. They're here to make money and there's nothing wrong with that. But you should care about yourself. Think about it this way. Would a genuinely happy, fulfilled person enjoy video games? Of course not, because their life is already full of pleasure. They don't need video games to get that extra hit. In fact, video games might even be more boring for them. So of course the solution to this is to improve your mental health. In the end, you have to progressively underload your video game screen time. Here's an actionable step for you right now. Here's the way that I would do it if I were you. I just write down the amount of days I let myself play in the ne next month, let's say three days. I mean, <laughs> 10 days per month. That's still pretty good because you're playing once three days. Let's say if you play it every day. So let's say 10 days, and then you just tick down the days that you play video games, and you do it like once every three days. Then the next month, you'll do five days. And within two months, you're gonna be a lot better than you were starting out. Then from there, it's very manageable. It's not taking that much time. You can go to two days, one day, and break off for free. Because when I quit video games, I did it instantly. I, I reduced it to zero. But you have to remember that before that, I was, for the last few months, I was reducing my gaming time before I quit my, like, all the video games. There's no mindset shift that will 100% take you from zero to 100. You can't have a simple shift in your mindset and become a millions, millionaire suddenly. You have to use your discipline and willpower. And here, it's quite an addiction. For any addiction, you're gonna need willpower. And that's something that you decide and you control. Here's a full recap and full plan of action that I've formed for you. Firstly, improve your mental health. That comes first for everything in life. Secondly, delay gratification, specifically with something physical. Go for a run, go lift some weights, Oh, okay, we're shooting. Quantum kids working out. Yeah. <laughs> that, that you are. That's one of the best ways to delay gratification. All of this will compound. You won't make progress linearly. You'll make it more like curved. So for the first few months, you won't make much progress. And then eventually, you'll skyrocket. And finally, map out your months. Thanks for watching. Like this video if it helped you. Subscribe to join the movement. Leave a comment if you have any question. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. See you in the next video.